Hey, what's up guys? It's time to talk about some more early patch reports for Street Fighter V Arcade Edition from the PSX build. So once again, all the sources that I collected this information from is in the video description below. You guys can check it out yourselves. And of course, if I missed anyone, please let me know in the comments below. So uh, let's get this started. Let's talk about my boy first, Alex. So we have more information on how his second V-Trigger works. So first off, you guys should know by now that Alex's second V-Trigger is called Rage Boost, which is a passive type V-Trigger that gives him access to two new moves, uh, Flying DDT by pressing Hard Punch and Hard Kick at the same time, and Choke Sleeper also by pressing Hard Punch and Hard Kick at the same time uh, during Flash Chop. And this is a two-bar V-Trigger, just like his first one. So Flying DDT makes Alex leap towards the opponent uh, for an unblockable grab. Uh, the distance is very, very far. It looks like the range of Alex's standing hard kick, I would say. Uh, maybe even further than that. And the recovery is pretty good too if he misses. Um, the damage is really good, and even if you land this raw, just it's the only thing you do. Um, after it hits, Alex slams the opponent down, and he's standing pretty close to them afterwards. I don't think he gets OK from this, uh, but there are no reports that I've seen from people that said that he has. Um, Alex can also combo into his DDT in pretty much the same way um, as his Sledgehammer from V Trigger 1. Uh, you can combo into it using forward hard punch, um, standing hard punch, standing medium punch, crouching medium punch, and uh, you can even just do resets with it in general. You can just do a light into it, it won't combo, but if the opponent is sleeping, he can get hit by it, so you can get ticked into it. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, you can also combo into Alex's V Trigger in itself and then combo into DDT uh, afterwards for a good chunk of damage. Um, now, you can use DDT twice uh, before the V Trigger completely drains, uh, but if you whiff a DDT, the V Trigger won't drain as much as if you landed it. So you can still like do one DDT and land it, uh, miss another attempt, and still have enough bar for one more attempt. Uh, in that sense. Um, Alex's DDT does not hit crouching opponents. That is the main weakness of this move. The opponent can just crouch it and Alex will sail over them and it will whiff. Now what I really like about the DDT is that Alex finally has a great threat for standing opponents. Especially since the distance is so far and it's really fast. So right now most Alex players use um, EX stomps to get in and you know start pressure especially since it's plus on block and normal stomps are really risky in general because they're minus four they're punishable now since these are charge moves you know it's really obvious when alex just crouches there for no reason and you know you have to mask it in between your normals and on top of this uh, there's nothing really scary for the opponent to worry about uh getting hit low um, crouching medium kick is just too slow in general and it doesn't convert into anything and uh, crouching a hard kick of course is risky for alex it's a sweep so since Stomp uh, is an overhead, most of the time the opponent is going to be standing, right? So, But with the, the threat of DDT now, uh, the opponent will be crouching more often than he did before, and this exposes them to get hit by the Stomp. So this kind of makes Alex a little bit more intuitive in general, and kind of stitches together his move list uh, and make, make it better. Okay, let's talk about the other new move you get from this V-Trigger, and that is Choke Sleeper now. Uh, during any version of Alex's Flash Chops, that's when he goes FLASH uh, special, you can, you can cancel that into the Choke Sleeper. So you can even cancel the first hit of EX Flash Chop into this. Um, I don't know if you can juggle a Chop into a Choke. Uh, probably not, but that would be really sick if you could. Um, that would make his combos really good. Uh, so after you land the Choke, Alex will drop the opponent right next to him, directly next to him. And uh, Alex will be at a huge advantage, um, enough to beat a 3-framer with a forward hard punch. It pretty much gives him, Alex, a free forward hard punch uh, mix-up. So this is the main point of Choke. Uh, even though it does much lower damage than DDT, it gives Alex a strong Oki option. So Choke seems to uh, drain the V-Gauge the exact same amount as DDT. So two uses total with this V-Trigger. Um, the weakness is that it won't work from a max range chop, he still has to grab them, and, and of course the low damage is another weakness. So now Alex can convert his common strings into good Oki mix-ups uh, that will give him more momentum rather than you know relying on risky power bombs where he has to like dash in and go for it. And, uh, and then when you do land that power bomb, it resets it back to neutral anyways. So something like um, Crouch and Light Kick, Crouch and Light Punch, Light Punch Flash Chop is actually really dangerous now because now it gives Alex a setup afterwards. Um, standing Medium Punch into Light Chop will also be a good buffer that you can use to whiff punish uh, your opponent. That makes it more scary now too. 
So overall, Alex's second V-Trigger should help him become more of a complete character. Um, he will lose some defense though, uh, because he won't have a parry like he did in V-Trigger 1, but he'll be more of a threat in neutral, I think. Uh, if the opponent like neutral jumps, for example, you can catch him with knee smash. Um, if the opponent stands, he has to worry about DDT. And if he crouches, you can sneak in a stomp. Um, also, landing normals and neutral converts into Oki, uh, which will give Alex some stickiness to the opponent now. So, let me know what you guys think of this V-Trigger in the comments below and how you think it will add to his game or if it's just not as good as V-Trigger 1. Okay, let's talk about some Jerry now. Uh, let's start with her second V-Trigger, her new one. So, what this does is a cloudy swirl surrounds Jerry uh, that rapidly drains the opponent's EX gauge and transfers it to her. So, this is a 2-bar V-Trigger. And it lasts about, I'd say, 12 to 13 seconds, looking at that footage. Um, this will start draining the opponent as soon as they touch the swirl or they're standing in it. And the opponent will start pulsing like white to notify them that it's being drained. And then this will drain the opponent as long as Jury is on the ground. And it will drain the opponent even if they are blocking or standing next to Jury if she is knocked down on the ground. Um, it will not drain while Jury is throwing or being thrown and when she jumps or leaves the ground. Um, it will also not drain if Jerry is being hit or if she is blocking. So this is definitely something where Jerry has to be on the offensive, right? She can't just mindlessly drain it while the opponent is pressuring her. Um, this will drain the opponent even if uh, Jerry has full EX meter, the opponent's EX gauge will still drain. I'm not sure if the Jerry will gain EX meter if the opponent has zero meter. I haven't seen any footage on that. Now the interesting thing about this V-Trigger is that when Jerry activates this, it does she does a short range spin attack, a kind of like swirl attack. Um, this does a small amount of damage, but it can be easily comboed into. Uh, for example, you can see Jerry combo from a standing light kick cancel into V-Trigger into the spin attack and then they get sucked in towards Jerry. And then she can even still combo after that into another light attack into some EX move for a good chunk of damage from here, which will give her, you know, a good amount of time to basically drain the opponent's meter before they're even able to act. So at the end of the day, the value of this V-Trigger really depends on how long Jerry can, you know, stick to the opponent. Uh, if the opponent backs up and runs away though, then it does give Jerry some breathing room to, you know, start gaining some stocks for his specials. I don't think Jerry, you know, has any super strong EX moves to bully with in general uh, to abuse us with, but there are opponents that would not like to have their EX gauge drained, such as Balrog or M. Bison. Uh, okay, so for other reports on Jerry, there is footage of Jerry's V Trigger 1 being two bars now as well, which you know would be a good buff to Jerry if they were, she had two two bar V Triggers. But with that being said, we know that the PSX build is not the final build of Street Fighter V. And if you check the updated AE move list on the CFN website, it says that Jerry's V Trigger 1 is still three bars. And I'm going to assume the AE move list on the CFN site is more updated than this build. So I'm going to think it's still going to be 3 when uh, AE launches. Um, finally, there has been reports that Jerry's target combo now hits crouching opponents. Uh, this is a pretty big buff actually because that will give her a lot more combo routes. So it's a good change and hopefully it will give her good, uh, better mix-up options and just better setups in general. So that's the, that's the only thing I've heard about Jerry so far guys. So let me know in the comments below what you think of these changes so far. I can't wait till those patch notes actually get released. Uh, please subscribe to the channel guys and don't forget to like the video and I'll keep you posted with some more patch notes uh, in the next video. So yeah, till then guys, take care.